Yo, I'm back with another YouTube video today. I'm today, <laughs> day one, oh my God. Wow, day one, one interview. <laughs> oh, that's not the name of the show. Oh my God, with the Jackson family. Oh, this should be fun, this should be fun. Now, before we get into the video, make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, join the guys, squad, turn on post notifications. Also, every Michael Jackson video I react to or something that's included in him is in a playlist, all of Michael Jackson's I react to. So, make sure y'all go check that out. Link in the bio. Always on my main, my page, main page. Let's get it. The family talks. They thought it was their turn. Okay. Thought it was their so turn. So, they invited day one to their home in Encino, California, and we talked to them over three days. Mm. The 22-room Jackson Mansion is lavishly decorated and a long way from Gary, Indiana, where Father mm. Joe worked in a steel mill. At different times, most of the 11 Jacksons have lived here. Mm. Things are quieter now. Uh. Fans no longer clamor outside the gates. And some of the Jacksons have gone their separate ways. But the presence of one family member, Michael, is still clearly felt at this house. <laughs> the Jacksons spoke with day one correspondent, nice. Michelle McQueen. One thing, I... I wanted to clear up that, that we are not feuding like the press have made made like we have been doing for the last i guess 15 years mm. we never did so they can sell papers <laughs> <laughs> but now you know out of the nine mm. siblings mm. five of them aren't here because we have that that we're feuding Jack when we had, think that. Um, an important <laughs> meeting to make what? janet is is doing a video and she's going to take off to Europe. I had this so morning. Michael's doing what he has to do. And I left the studio. Marlon lives in San Diego, and he's under the weather, but he had some important things to do. Latoya wasn't there either, although mm. no one expected her. She's been saying some very harsh things about her father, Joe, which we had heard he wanted to talk to us about. Mm, what's that? Even though Michael wasn't there, we were allowed within mere yards of the room in which the gloved one used to sleep before he built his ranch a hundred miles away. Neverland. He's still a part owner of the house, and there is evidence of him all around. But the person who mm. seems to speak for the Jacksons is the third son, Jermaine. And if we don't get anything else, the fact that they brought us out here from Indiana, nine kids drug-free, and, and we became mm. something, that's the most... <laughs> you know, every single day, every hour. Sometimes we got tired of one another, you know, and, but it was great, great memories. Mm. You really like being together with your brothers that much? Mm. Yeah, very much. My brothers were my friends. Hey. <laughs> the early years were the busiest for the Jackson Five. They were on the road nearly 200 days a year, Ooh. performing four to five shows a week. Man, but even when they were home, back. they sometimes stayed Ooh. in motels just to maintain the discipline of being on tour. It was all part of the price of stardom, the part the public never saw. Mm. When we were growing up, there were so many of us who wanted to be you. We wanted to be the Jacksons, or we wanted to marry one. Still do. Which is Ooh. another story. Ooh. Which one we you right? marry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no way. Forget it. I cannot go answer. Who? Were we right? Did we want to be you? I think my family, uh, we were <laughs> one of the first oh God, successful black, black families. In the entertainment business, I think our life off the stage had a lot to do with that. Uh, we were right on magazines and this and that. It always showed photos of my mom and my dad and all of us standing there and what we did mm -hmm. at home. So I think kids, you know, they they wanted to uh, follow <laughs> in our footsteps. Nice. That's what America was then. You know, you look just like it's young public. groups, and role models, and the Jacksons, the Partridge family. While the magazine covers showed one thing, family life out of the spotlight was often something else. Mm. Joe Jackson had an affair that produced a daughter. Kate Jackson threatened divorce, then changed her mind. Oh, wow. It's hard to talk uh, for me to talk about it. So, anything you want to talk about? Yeah, I'd love over coverage of divorce. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> there was no divorce. It's eyebrows, bro. Let me answer that question. <laughs> you had a chance? <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess he answered. In time, Joe Jackson's role in his children's careers would give people a lot to talk about. But in the early years, all most of us knew was that the former steel worker had somehow gotten his family out of Indiana, groomed for stardom. 
Mm. What do you think was driving your father? I think at that time, he just wanted to get out of Gary, Indiana and move on to something different. Mm. And, um, and yeah, definitely did. Move and he wanted to see all of his kids very successful in life. And uh, whenever they would do something wrong, we didn't, Joe didn't whip them all the time, but he'd punish them sometimes. And if it was bad enough, then they would get a punishment with a, with a razor strap or just a spanking on the butt or something like that. But mm. this playing up that he was a very, very, uh, I guess, child abuser, that's not true. He was strict, though. That's the way it was back then. I mm. imagine that's the way his folks raised him. That's the way my parents raised me, and I really thank yeah, him for it. Yeah, I got a weapon all the time, you know. Teach at school with me, you know, and I come home, mm. told my parents that I got a whipping at school, then they whipped me too. <laughs> so I got a lot of whippings. Mm. I thought it was kind of the hardest on me because I was the oldest one, you know, and uh, and when the other kids would get in trouble, he would get on me for it, you know. <laughs> Why? Because I was the oldest, you know, and I was, Mimi and I was the oldest, so he would make sure we kept a close watch over the kids. And mm. in most cases that I could think of, we weren't allowed to go visit or stay all night with other kids. Why was that? Because he didn't have control and didn't know what was going on, really? didn't know how their parents oh, were, how lenient they may have been, or what they allowed the kids to do. Is that the other Six boys uh, in that house. I mean, we, we, were, we were rough. It's a lot. And there had to be some order, you know. Mm. And uh, so uh, I look at where we are now. Look what we have now. Look what we are. Look what we do. It's great. So something was right. Mm. Yeah, we so it. I we thank that. my father. Maybe certain family members were more sensitive as to the, the way he was, but he was not a child abuser or or beating us. Or this. And I mean, that's the term they, they use, but any black family out there can relate to. If, if you did mm -hmm. something wrong, you got a whipping. Your son, Michael, said in a recent interview that he was frightened of you. He says that mm. he was so frightened of you sometimes that he would be sick. Is that yeah. true? Well, I just know, I just knew about that when I heard him mention that on the TV on Oprah Winfrey show. Um, I didn't know anything about him being sick, but regurgitating. But if he did regurgitate, he he regurgitated all the way to the bank, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, by me, uh, by me, being strict with him a little bit, and, and it made him a superstar, you know, because, look, it just didn't happen on his own, you know. He had to have a beginning. Well, All of them had to have a beginning. Driven by their father, the group had 23 top 40 songs. On his own, Michael had 25 more and 11 singles that hit number one. Mm. His greatest success, of course, was Thriller. That was the best-selling album of all time. When we come back, we'll hear what the Jackson family has to say about Michael's That's enormous success mm -hmm. and about Latoya's charges of sexual abuse. Oh. 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 You don't copyright me. Oh. <laughs> the video is longer. I gotta turn that part out. Day one continues. In the 1980s, the public's attention was increasingly turning to Michael Jackson. While he and his mm -hmm. sister Janet focused on their music, most of the others began to slow down and raise their own families. But whether or not it was their choice to forego the limelight, mm. many in the family were beginning to feel left that, behind. Oh, I got it right. I reach out my hand to you. 1983. The 25th anniversary celebration of Motown Records. Mm. At first, Michael said no, he wouldn't be there. Then he said he would, if he could perform solo. So Michael was there with his brothers for three numbers. Three numbers. Then on cue, the brothers left the stage and Michael was on his own. Ah, that was good. Oh, wow. Oh. Hey. Rock historians say this is the moment when Michael's solo career took off. His individual mm. talent 
now overshadowed the success of his family. I used to go by Michael's room and I see on his wall, he's right, I would sell 20 million records on his mirror. I said, you out of your mind. <laughs> I'm telling that, you know. I said, Michael, you might sell about maybe seven, or, but not 12. He sold 42 million records. <laughs> showed you. Yeah, he showed me. He sold, he sold 42 million records, you know. And it's hard to stop something like that and come back after you got a career like that, you know. Maybe I would have done the same thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Were you ever jealous? So, so it was okay with you when your little brother Perfectly went out okay. front? Perfectly okay, yeah. It comes so easy for him. Um, mm. Melody, you know song, me? dance. It's, he, he just lives and knows and loves it. And uh, it's such a natural part of his life. It's easy. Is it easy for you? Depends on what I'm doing. Dancing like Michael Jackson, no, it's a nightmare for me. <laughs> <laughs> How do you all feel about Michael <laughs> grabbing his crotch in those videos? I don't like that. <clears throat> well, Vivi, it's, it's just part of his, his uh, dancing. He's, he's yeah, been... but I don't like that. I don't like it either, but you know, <laughs> when, people the were, way, when people wait, were wait, saying... Wait, 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 wait. Let her talk. <laughs> no, no, when people were saying Michael was grabbing his crotch, he was not grabbing his crotch at that time. He was putting his hand in his belt, was like this on his side of his face, and after they said he was grabbing his crotch, I don't know. Maybe you really he started grabbing his <laughs> 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 crotch. No, I think it's... Uh, a feeling and the music is feeling right. so good and everything. He just boom, he just goes for it. What about those entertainers that, just get naked on? That's what I'm feeling. That's, that's what I was getting ready to say. That I think it's one of those things they're <laughs> looking just to say, oh, he did that, nice, oh, he did that. So. That's what's nice. do that. Why do you think Michael has changed his appearance so much? <clears throat> what's the word? As what? Co yes, cosmetically? The surgery. Cosmetically? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it is true what he was saying about his skin problem. And I was so happy when he said that because I always knew. I always knew he had this problem, and I always said, Michael, why don't you let it be known that you have this skin but, disorder? Because they, but they kept private, saying that he really, wanted to be... Yeah, I know. I know. But I, I know, I, I know <laughs> it's <laughs> private, but, anyway. I, but I also knew that it affected him, that people were yeah, saying that about him. It's private because Michael would have said, I have a skin problem. He would have said, oh, he's dying of cancer. Exactly. Oh, he has this, he has that. So, so that's oh, he has AIDS. But not, to, not to put you on the spot, Jeremy, but, but didn't you kind of exacerbate mm -hmm. the sense that he had intentionally changed his skin color? With that, that was, song? That was creative anger. Lyrics were kind of rough. <laughs> Once you were made, you changed your shade. Was your color wrong? Could not turn back. It's a known fact. You're too far gone. Re reconstructed. Been abducted. Don't know who you are. Yeah. Did you feel oh. that way? That he didn't well, know who he was? That well, he was... Basically, I, I felt that he, he was missing something. He wasn't communicating. And um, what, what was very hurting to me was the fact that a bit of the co communication thing wasn't where it was, and, and I wasn't mm. getting um, getting to him as soon as I. You mean he wasn't to. returning your phone calls? Well, <laughs> it's just that he was working on, on something, and 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 it's really when you when you really get down to the bottom of it, it's really not him; it's the people around him. You were mad enough mm. to write these lyrics, mm. but you, you changed the lyrics before the song was actually released. Yeah, because I Why? I I felt that um that um no. I spoke to him and then I said, Michael, well, I, I did this song about you. So you meant for him to hear this at some point? You well, meant for him to well, hear about this song? I mm -hmm. went my, <laughs> my phone call returned. Once, once the song came out, we, we, we talked and we spoke and everything. And, and, I, and I, I said, Michael, we have, we have to talk because family is very, very important. And uh, I love you. We, we, we started to, together, but I, I was very upset. Mm. As they grew up, <laughs> family relationships among the Jacksons were sometimes displaced by business relationships. Mm, more and more, business, Michael's business plans money. didn't include the brothers. That's the end of the interview. <laughs> Y'all, I was getting too into it. It's not as old. Great. <laughs> But if y'all enjoyed that, make sure y'all subscribe, join the guys, turn on post notifications, give me more video suggestions. Y'all know I'm going to keep making them. Do it with me. Peace. Peace.